Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. It's now time for Today in History. And I'm going back to the year 1952. It's the year where Nigeria's politician and national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tunubu, was born on March 29th, 1952. Bola Tunubu was the governor of Lagos State from 1999 to 2007. He was born in Oshun State, Nigeria. He is, you know, widely perceived as the godfather of Lagos. And uh, we know that after the results of the June 12th, 1993 uh, presidential elections was annulled, Tino became a, a founding member of the pro-democracy National Democratic Coalition. He holds the chief chances of the Ashiwaju of Lagos and the Jagaban of Burugu Kingdom in Niger State, Nigeria. He played an important role in the you know, administration of President Muhammad Buhari, and uh, that's why it generated such a buzz last week when you know, reports broke out that he and the president he had a rift. And we know that there's also been speculations about his presidential ambitions for 2023. But for now, that's all it is, speculation. Yes. So all we can say is happy birthday to Bola Tunubu, uh, who was born today, March 29th, 1952. He also, you know, has been spoken um, you know, extensively, you know, con concerning his role as Lagos State Governor and the things that he was able to improve and change, you know, while he was Governor of Lagos. Um, you know, the you know, challenges that he had back with uh, former President Lucia Gawabasunja back then, and it was how he has also um, maybe should be credited with being able to improve on the internally generated revenue of Lagos State and, you know, how all that started during his time. Um, there's also a little bit of controversy concerning his health. Um, over the weekend, I saw videos um, of, um, I think it was Dele Momodu who posted that video, you know, talking about the, the, the Bolatinubu's presidential election and, you know, the meeting and greeting with different people. Nuhu Ribadu was in that clip also. Um, there's also clips that showed him stumbling. Uh, that also is, um, happened um, over the weekend, I think. Um, and you know, people criticized you know his health and talked about you know how strong he is. Some people said, oh, maybe it's the Agbada that he tripped on. Uh, there's uh, those who said, you know, he definitely, you know, according to speculations, has some um, minor or major. Nobody knows uh, health challenges. Really, nobody knows. But these are all just conspiracy theories. Um, and uh, they're all geared towards, you know, the you know, narrative of whether he will be running in 2023 or oh, not, nice. you know, as the APC uh, leader. And, of course, uh, how much support he will be able to galvanize around the southeast, in the north, in the south, south, middle belt, everywhere. Uh, but we'll see how it plays out. We still have about two years to go. And I'm sure that with time, you know, we will be able to know whether he truly will be running or not. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we're also going back to the uh, now well, the year 2020, March 29th, and that was when the President Muhammadu Buhari ordered a lockdown in Lagos and Abuja because of, of course, uh, COVID-19. Um, it was on this day he ordered the cessation of movement in Lagos and the capital Abuja for 14 days in an attempt to curb the spread of the coronavirus. He said the restrictions at that time would begin at 11 p.m. on Monday, March 30th. Um, and if, was it March 30th or 31st? I'm not sure. Do you remember? I remember it started on my birthday, actually, um, 31st of March, which is a couple of days from now. Um, he said the measures would apply to Ogun State also, which neighbors Lagos, and health experts at that time were concerned about the potential of a widespread outbreak in a country that has about 200 million inhabitants and not a very strong health system. Um, it um, also marked his uh, first major address to the nation since uh, Nigeria's first confirmed coronavirus uh, case was announced in uh, February, on February 27th, also in 2020. The president said the restriction would not apply to hospitals and, and um, healthcare facilities related to manufacturing and distribution and all the um, essential workers. Um, the president also acknowledged that restrictions may make it hard for people to feed themselves in a country where people live on less than $2 a day. But, I mean, after, of course, also announcing relief materials, uh, that's, that was, I mean, the, the, the first time that Nigeria had experienced a lockdown like, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. um, after that 14 days, it was extended again and then became uh, nationwide. Other states, of course, had to comply. Um, and then there was, you know, later, you know, months in, in, this, um, in, that, in this period, controversy over how many people actually respected the lockdown 
there were rumors of people bribing their way through checkpoints of how police officers were making a lot of money um, on the roads because you know travelers of course kept moving there was also the fears and th these are just the different angles you know to uh, the lockdown 2020 in nigeria the, the fears that nigeria's healthcare system would not be able to manage a full um, um, crisis with regards to uh, COVID-19 here in Nigeria. Um, because people were looking at what the figures were like in the U.S. and in other countries across America and, and, the Euro and in Europe, and seeing that people, you know, countries were recording hundreds, you know, thousands of, of uh, infections daily, we were recording hundreds of deaths daily. Um, the U.S. currently has had more than 500,000 people dead. And so uh, predictions then also by um, international organizations had you know, said that Africa was going to be hit really, really hard, mostly because of our weak healthcare system. Um, and Nigeria was one of those countries that was you know, expected to be hit really, really hard with you know, deaths and with infections. But it hasn't really turned out that way. And so the um, whole lockdown period, controversies from uh, palliatives, if you remember the NSAS protests and saw where a lot of these COVID-19 relief materials were hoarded. Um, Nigerians didn't get the palliatives or the bailout funds or the, um, 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 you know, whatever, you know, I can't remember the name now, what they're getting in the U.S., um, $1,200. We didn't get anything Stimulus like that. Package. Stimulus package, yes. Um, nobody woke up in the morning and saw 100000 in their accounts from the government. Uh, or 50,000 from the government. You know, there were little bags of rice, you know, tiny you know, onions here and there that were And then they brought it to um, you. It was, a, it was delivered to your doorstep. Well, here you had to go and queue and... <laughs> well, here was totally different. And totally. so the, the idea of relief materials for Nigerians during a lockdown didn't go as, you know, expected or as planned from the government. And there was also, it was also a period where um, social media became, and different social media platforms became really, really popular because people were, lock, were stuck at home. Um, Instagram Live, uh, Zoom, mm -hmm. um, and other platforms became really, really popular. Um, domestic violence, of, of course, also was reportedly um, on the high because husband and wives had to live in the same environment. Nobody was going to work, and so and, they had and to instead deal. Instead of them to, to love up more, they had they to deal with to each see. other. You ah. know? And so um, it was an interesting period. Sadly, you know, the part where the government should have stepped up to ensure that it was, um, um, you know, less of a burden for Nigerians who couldn't hustle, the, the government, you know, didn't seem to do that. If yes. you looked around Lagos at that time, there was a lot of young um, Nigerians who mm. had no jobs, who, you know, they, their daily bread was taken away from them because they couldn't go out to hustle because businesses where they normally would hustle were all locked up. Um, and that, also, of course, also played out when, um, at the end of the end SARS mm -hmm. protests. And so there was different, different, you know, angles. Zero mm -hmm. traffic also one of the good parts of it. Yeah, definitely, definitely recall the end, the, the, you know, lockdown period like it was just yesterday. It was actually just yesterday. It was one of the most trying times for me as a journalist because I was out in the field every day reporting what was happening in Lagos, also, you know, went as far as the border with Ogun State to see how Nigerians were complying with the lockdown order. We saw lots of people begin to, you know, pivot from different things they were doing to making hand sanitizers, you yes. know, making, you know, making face masks. Lots of Nigerian fashion designers began to make face masks and sell them. People complaining about how, you know, food was taken from their mouth, like people who had to, you know, earn a living, you know, on a daily basis. You know, there was just, just so much, especially the traffic issue you mentioned. Journey that would usually take you two hours began to take 30 minutes because there was oh, no goodness. traffic. You know, just so much issues with, with all that lockdown. But the great thing is we're able to pull through despite the challenges we had our case level then was in the hundreds about 111 when you know this lockdown um i, I believe when this lockdown was uh, you know ordered by the president but our case numbers now are rising in a thousand but it's good to know that we're stepping up testing covid 19 vaccinations are now in the country we're taking that lagos ogun states are leading and uh, let's just keep seeing how it goes Absolutely. An interesting year um, across the world and also here in Nigeria. And of course, uh, luckily, you know, like you've mentioned, we didn't have the uh, COVID-19 uh, um, statistics that was predicted for Africa and for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We somehow, some way were you know, able to you know, limit those figures and limit the number of deaths. Um, it's just about 2,000 uh, so far, more, a little more than 2,000. All right, that's all we have for you today in history. Happy birthday to Bola Ahmed Tinubu, former governor of Lagos State, and of course the APC national leader, and also President Muhammad Bari on this day, last year, 2020, ordered a lockdown in Lagos, Abuja, and Ogun State.
Short break. When we come back, we're going into our first major discussion for today, and it is about the by-elections that took place in Abia State over the weekend. We'll look at the details and um, a lot more this morning here on The Breakfast.